I'm rarely in my mom's kitchen, but we are visiting Puerto Rico for Easter. And my mom, for some reason, out of the blue, has to make her famous mac and cheese with tuna. You know that my mom is well known for making recipes that come out of boxes and jars, doctoring them up and making amazing food. She hates to cook, so she wants it simple and quick. You've seen those recipes like the lasagna right there, the spaghetti with ragu sauce right there, which sends you all in a hissy fit because she uses ragu. But when I went to the supermarket this time, check out what I find out. Remember how much crap I got because I used ragu on my mom's spaghetti sauce? This is why. This is all the boat brings. When you live on an island, it's what the boat brings. No other choices. So don't hate. Sometimes it happens when you live on an island that ragu is all there is. And maybe you can't afford the fancy stuff, but I digress. Another one of her great meals besides her awesome flan, which I failed making, and you can find that right there too, embarrassing moment, is mac and cheese. And I'm talking mac and cheese, the orange one. Before all the awful comments, yes, this is what we're gonna use. Stop if you can handle it, or maybe find the healthier options. It is, is it an acquired taste? Maybe, because she adds albacore canned tuna in water. Let's see how she makes it. So you see my ma mom right there, mommy. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> so mommy, I always tell people that you hate to cook, but you have the bad luck that you're a really good cook. And you are a really good cook by doctoring things that come in boxes. So what are we making today? We're making... Come here so they can hear you. Mac and cheese I um, with tuna mm -hmm. and mushrooms. Okay. What are the ingredients? The mac and cheese, this is the original. Yeah, the looks. The original cheddar deluxe because we are fancy. Okay, and then? The tuna. The tuna, which you usually buy albacore tuna in water, right? How many cans? I buy two, some people put three in. Two cans of tuna. And um, what is this? Why are you putting evaporated milk? I prefer to use evaporated milk instead of regular milk mm -hmm. because of the taste. The taste and the texture? And the texture. Okay, how many cans? Two or three, it depends on how, how you want it. You'll see, you'll see. <laughs> and here we go. Un chin, un poquito. You just watch it. All right, so what do you do first? And then I'm going to add the uh, mushrooms. Uh -huh. At the end? At the end, but I add them as soon as the cheese is blended. Then, then you I throw add, the mushrooms in. And then I, I leave that for a little while, and then the mushrooms uh, soften. Soft. Oh! Because I don't want the mushrooms all wilted, no. No. Okay. I want them with a little bit. With a little pep, okay. Half a stick of Brookfield butter. Because that's the one that they sell on the island. <laughs> that's half a stick of Brookfield. Half a stick of Brookfield butter. You melt it, and what is in here? I add the tuna, two mm -hmm. cans of tuna, and then I add some milk. Some evaporated milk, uh-huh. And, and then I move it around. You saute it? Yes. What are we trying to do, warm up the, the tuna? Yes. Okay. And then... When the pasta's ready, mm -hmm. I add the pasta, mm -hmm. I add the cheese, and I add the, the uh, mushrooms. Now I have to uh, heat, I have to cook the, the pasta. Mommy, does this reheat well or you should eat it the day you make it? This reheats very well. I usually add uh, some of the carnation. Uh-huh, a little bit of the milk, just when you're gonna reheat it. Right, Okay. it, it reheats very well. What year is this recipe from? Oh, about 50 years ago. <laughs> a friend of mine gave it to me. There and you she go. she usually adds little bits of onion, but my uh -huh. husband doesn't like the onion, so I added the mushrooms. Okay, can you address all the people who were complaining that you use ragu sauce in your pot, in your spaghetti ah, sauce? I use ragu sauce because that's what I get here in Puerto Rico. There you go. We have a saying, 
that's what the ship brings. If the ship doesn't bring any other kind of marinara sauce, well, it's ragu. There you go. And you learn to live that way. There's nothing wrong with it. Pausa for a little prosecco. La Ruta de los Milagros, the route to miracles. That's what my uncle used to call my mother's kitchen because miracles happened here. Because when she got married 62 years ago, she didn't know how to cook, not even an egg. And as we wait for the water to boil, look at how organized my mom has this kitchen. You've seen my kitchen, right? We This kitchen is messy because we're staying here. So the bread for El Metiche, my husband's Starbucks, but usually, look at this, look at this. Have you ever, have you ever had seen Tupperware that organized? And she doesn't need any dividers from the container store like I do, look at that. Can you believe this woman raised me? She doesn't know what she did wrong, she tells me all the time. You know the utensils? She keeps them down here because she doesn't like anything to clutter her counters. Look at that. I mean, seriously. The lady's a gem, an example to follow, and her daughter's a disaster. Isn't that how it happens all the time? That you do one thing and your kids do the other? Leave it in the comments, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead. Okay, we drained the macaroni and now we're pouring it in that mixture of the tuna and the butter. Just mixing it around. Look at you, mommy, doing some cooking segments. <laughs> and yes, she is using a metal spoon on a Teflon pan. Leave your comments below. I know you're all gonna say, she should be using a wooden spoon. No fastidia mad. this is how she cooks. Now she's pouring in the cheese. Why do you keep adding the carnation milk? So it softens, so it, it makes it better. Makes it better and it makes it creamier? Yes. This is the second can, but you go little by little depending on it's the consistency. Good. This is my childhood right here. I haven't eaten this in years because my kids and my husband gag at the sight of tuna. And Alex is allergic to fish. He wanted to pop into the, the video to tell you. But what do you do to your mac and cheese in your family? How do you doctor it up? I want to hear it. Because maybe there are some things I can do for my family. I love it with tuna and the mushrooms. Mmm, so good. Or what is that dish that your family loves that people will be like, ooh, that sounds awful. Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Ooh.